How's it going guys? Blade Show 2021. I have the privilege right now to hang out with Dave from ProTech. Kurt. How are you, man? Awesome. It's, now, go ahead. How, how's the show? It's amazing. Uh, it's so great to be about at the show. Uh, we missed everybody so much. Miss seeing you guys and all the customers. Right. It's just fantastic to be here. It is. Honestly, just the social aspect of coming out and hanging out with people, talking about knives, and everybody is so happy here. Yes. Like, everybody's so hyped. Yep. It's like a giant family. It, it really is. is. It, yep. it really is. Yeah, it's community, and it's absolutely true. And, like, we have a lot of customers we've seen every year at the Blade Show since we first started. That's awesome. And missing them last year year uh, right. but I, I'd say excellent makeup for it this year right yeah well and let's jump into some knives but sure. we're, we're gonna come back to the customers the people the community at the for end. sure is that all right it's awesome okay what do you got for us I'm, I'm excited I really <laughs> I am super excited so as you know the knife that started everything was the runt the original right. runt and we found our fifth revision so we are introducing the runt five uh, it's a brand new model in that run family, California legal two inch blade. And for these special introductory pre-production pieces, all of them have Mike Erie hand ground mirror polished blades. It's pretty awesome. Guys, these are absolutely beautiful. We, we had something kind of funny happen last night. We had Taylor from Best Damn EDC. Yep. They were, we were hanging out and he's like, yeah, I gotta drive like 20 miles to this place. I was like, no dude, he was gonna crash on a couch. I was like, come over, crash on the couch. And then we're like all really kind of winding down and he's like, hey, check this out. And he pulls out this one. <laughs> and I was like, shut up. <laughs> Dude, the mirror finish on these. Yep, so hand hollow insane. ground, mirror finished. This one's got a nice texture milled into the aluminum. And then on these pre-production special pieces, abalone push button, and of course the signature Protect snap. You gotta snap oh, it. Oh yeah, let's do it, let's do it. That. Guys, for such a small knife, I mean, we all know ProTech kills it in the automatic game. That the bar is so high up because of them, it's 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 insane. But this little knife, that jumps like a, a big automatic knife. Absolutely, I, I love the blade to handle ratio. We're able to squeeze a real nice workable blade into a nice compact handle and then deep carry pocket clip on the back side right. it's small but we snuck a little lanyard pass through oh yeah a little pass through right here yep that's cool yeah i'm really after all these years of different runt variations it's a pretty big deal for us to put up a new runt model this one it took us about a year of development tinkering around with the design but i'm thrilled with what came out oh absolutely yeah. okay so let's let's see the next run so two different blade shapes the reverse Tonto and also this little Warncliffe-ish blade. Yeah. And then in addition to the new rump model, a brand new material. So this is bronze aluminum. It's got this awesome tank-like feel. It's heavy, but not too heavy. Right. And when you snap this one open, because of the weight of the handle, there isn't that kind of bounce like the aluminum. It's solid, just rock yes. solid. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love this. Okay, so... Uh... I, I gotta talk about the this action, the texture yes. on the back. Okay guys, this right here, uh, do you guys have a name for this? What would you call that? It's jimping, I guess, it's, and um, yeah. but yeah, it's it's done in a, a very sneaky way that one of my, my guys came up with, and uh, we sneak in there with a tool while the parts held from the sides and actually right. sneak in and do it, but it's got just the right grip. It's, it really does. Yeah. So if you just run your finger over this, it just slides, yep. it glides, it is very well refined, but as soon as you press into it, I, it's not like a cheese grater, but right. it, it's your thumb sinks down into those di those pivots. Ready to go to work. And holy crap, you got full purchase on yep. a two inch knife. Yep. You know what I mean? I think that is genius. That, that really is. It is a cool technology way to be able to, and instead, it's such a beautiful knife, Thank right? You. And it adds to the artistry, Thank right? You. It gives details, but you also get that purchase. You know what I mean? Yep. I love that. I Seriously, I love this knife. You guys are 
killing it with this stuff. I just love it. The and beard. The, the beauty of the bronze, the more you hold it, the longer you have it, the better it's going to look. Yeah. As the patina develops and yours and another guy's are going to look a little different. It's so great. I love it. Yeah. I absolutely love it. We're looking forward it. to taking this material and inflicting it on some of the other models so can you imagine a godfather in bronze oh and some maybe a gosh. malibu oh yeah if you made a malibu in bronze you know we will the people will die christmas people will just absolutely freak out yeah. that's gonna be awesome it is i'm excited yep. to see that that's cool all right man what so else you got another new knife just rolling out. We've had obviously great success with the Les George collaborations. Right. He's a super partner for us and the Rock Eye has been a, a huge hit. So we build the full size Rock Eye, the SBR, the small bladed Rock Eye. Right. And then now we've added this SBR uh, fixed blade to the family. So overbuilt, super high end leather sheath, 3D Machine G10, oh. S35. So we went all out on it and it's basically the newest addition to our Les George family. I love it. I absolutely love it. Guys, this thing is sweet. Nice and tight leather sheath, you yep. know? You gotta, well, and honestly, it's one of those things that as you go, you pull in and out, you know, yep. it, it builds, it's, it's like a good boot. It'll wear in. It's like a good boot. Yep. Holy cow. So we've got a few different variations. We did a Blade HQ exclusive. I think you guys already sold out with a stonewash blade and blue G10. And then that came with a Kydex sheath. Right. And then there's these uh, models with the leather sheath, a few different colors. So there'll be a nice spread of them. This thing is beautiful. Yeah, it's such a great size. Oh my gosh. And the contour to the scales, you still get a lot of grip, but it doesn't tear your hand up because yep. as you go across, you know, your hand is following the grooves in the scales. One nice thing that I, I'm very proud of with this, we took the collaboration thing kind of to the next level in a way. Les George actually made these G10 scales. Really? We've been so busy, but we wanted to get the knife out. I was talking to him and he's like, how about if I make them? So his design, manufactured by us, he makes the scales, we put it together, uh, teamwork makes the dream work. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. It's like an ultimate. Yeah. You know, you're getting more of the designer than you normally would. Yes. Right? Yes. And it's it's the relationships like we were talking. Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, and we've known him for a long time and uh, we figured out a way to get it done and, and came out great. Yes. Oh my gosh. This is cool. I cannot wait to see more versions of this. Definitely. This is a solid, I love it. This, this fits my hand really well, actually. And as my fingers come around and I kind of lock it in, yep. it, it's comfortable. It's comfortable. But also, dude, I, I love how, I don't, know the, I don't know the right word to say it. I, I was going to say kind of soft. It's, it's not a harsh jimping. Right. It doesn't need to tear you up. Exactly. You just need to get a good purchase on it. Right. Yeah. And dude, just like with the runt, yep. the pad of your thumb absorbs down into those holes and it it's perfect. And all the extra time, all the extra passes from the tools, all the extra hand deburring, all those extra steps. Sometimes why we're sold out of stuff is because it takes a while to make them the way we make them. Right. But then you get it in your hand and you realize it's worth it. Oh, absolutely. Uh, your Malibu has been going nuts. It's, People have been going crazy over the Malibu. Yes, yes. Guys, these things are sweet. I'm going to leave this one out because it looks amazing Thank on you. the table. All right. What's in the wood box? So, as you know, for Blade Show especially, we always dream up something super over the top. I like to give an engraver that we're working with license to do anything they want. Yes. Just say, hey, go for it. Give it everything. And that's what's in the box. Um, so with the Malibu being such a big hit for us, it seemed appropriate to do an ultimate custom. So this is Bruce Shaw engraved. And Bruce is, you know, someone we've done a lot of work with. Uh, I love his work. He's a great partner for us. Definitely. And this is a mirror polished titanium frame with Bruce Shaw engraving, extensive 18 karat gold, his most deluxe scroll work engraving. Um, it's got an amazing Chad Nichols mosaic Damascus blade. Front and back, full coverage engraving. 
As you turn it over, you'll see the engraving on the back. And even though there aren't inlays, he took his engraving pattern and emulated the inlay pattern so that it just flows. It almost looks like there's an inlay there. Right. Unbelievable. And so when you let the artist do what they want to do. You give them the freedom. You get the right. best. Absolutely. And that's what happened here. Holy cow. Yeah. All you Malibu guys. So one of my favorite things about it is the engraving right here on that front oh, yeah. end. I mean, it's it's every, and oh, the pocket clip, yes, that's 18 karat gold in the pocket clip. Oh my gosh. I feel, I feel a little almost. Flip it. Like I should have. Flip it. All right. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> oh, this thing is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. I, I love the detail that you guys put forward into not just your product, yep. but into a knife that makes it that much special, or in this case, above and beyond. You know what I mean? And you guys are absolutely killing it with these designs. Thank you. People are going crazy over them. We can't even keep them in stock, yep. you know? And to see this, this is legitimately art. This Thank is you. art. It's 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 a folding piece of art. And the, the time frame for something like this to come together is it's over a period of a couple of years. Oh, By the I'm time sure. you order Damascus from the artist that makes that, right? get that into the various processes and heat treating and all the rest of it, get everything built, make sure it's perfect, then take it apart and send the frame to the engraver and wait for that magic to happen and get it back, and build it again and all of it. Uh, That's got to be so exciting. It is. Oh my gosh. Honestly. To I, send it off and well, then it comes back and you're like, it's like oh, Christmas. It's like Christmas. It's like Christmas. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Yeah. That's that so cool. The, the process of the creation is something I'm so addicted to. I enjoy it so. I, I really, really do. And you yeah. can tell. Yeah. And it shows. Thank you. A hundred percent. It translates into your product. Yeah. I love yeah. it. Something like this, it's the best of so many different things between the technology for obviously precision making the parts. Right. The different artistry involved in the Damascus and the engraving, the guys who dove for the pearl, right? The aerospace grade materials. I, I did, I'd never, I've never even thought about that. Of Someone course. is down there diving for this yes. material. And that to is find insane. this grade of black lip pearl is so scarce. It's so hard to get this level of the natural materials. Um, there's a about a 40 minute machining cycle just to machine this deep carry 3D machine titanium clip and then send it to somebody to hand engrave it. So all that machine time, all the hand time, then all of my team at the shop, the person who hand polished each one of these screws, the people who built it, I mean, all of it, there's so much that goes into it and everyone doing their best work, everyone with passion, and this is what happens. Absolutely. Oh my gosh. I, I absolutely love at, at the office when I'm able to do photos mm -hmm. still, you know, and, and when I get to pull a, a wood box, yeah. ProTech, I'm always like, yes. <laughs> well, I, I feel very privileged. We, we I mean, it, it's like, we treat them like a gold bar. You know what I mean? Yep. We bring them out almost like I feel weird not having white gloves, <laughs> right? I would have white gloves on to nice. touch these things. Well, but. like at the at the show here this weekend, we have show special Malibus that are say two hundred and forty dollars to the public, right. and we've also got a twelve thousand dollar Malibu. And so the range of products that we're able to offer: new models, new materials, different price points. Um, it, it's great. It is great. Yeah, I do. I absolutely thoroughly have enjoyed this. The products you've come with, Thanks. it just blows my mind every time, all the time. We appreciate you guys very much and also the knife community in general. Right. I, I mean, I've got to say this last year with everything that's happened, absolutely. we're so fortunate to have customers that have taken care of us, purchased our knives, supported what we do over this last year and a half through Blade HQ, our other online dealers. Right. We've been able to thrive 
and I really, really appreciate it. It's been amazing. Oh, it's it's huge. Yeah. And and the customers and the fans yep. and honestly, it, I love being able to turn it back to them and yep. say thank you. Absolutely. Because it's been tough. Yes. It's been, we've gone through a rough patch. We have. All of us. Yep. You know. And, and here so, we are. Exactly. It feels like on the other end of it. Right. and able to be here and do this, it's incredible. Oh, I love it. Yeah. I'm like a social butterfly here. I'm like, <laughs> just want to yep. scatter, you know? Yep. But holy cow, man. Dave. What a treat. Thank you for being on, man. Absolutely. I absolutely love this. This is great. I can't wait till we can do this again. Awesome. And uh, yeah, that, that should be it, guys. Thank we'll, you. We'll just end it right there. Perfect. What do you think? All right, guys. Blade Show 2021, that's a wrap. Make sure you jump over, check out the playlist, Hit the website if you want to buy some knives, and we will catch you on the next one.